topic for today's presentation is blood glucose levels and performance in a sports camp for type 1 diabetes mellitus patients and it is a field study conducted by Dylan Kelly in Hamilton uh, from Toronto University. So the, this study is based upon the youth with diabetes type 1 mellitus have, have been subjected to both hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia uh, levels as exogenous insulin cannot match the demands of the endogenous needs. So the maintenance of the glucose control depends upon three factors. They are the nutritional factors, nutritional intake, physical activity and the circulating levels of other anti-insulin hormones. So immediately for the regular physical exercise, although it is beneficial for the type 1 diabetes mellitus patients, but the maintenance of glycemic control during sports activity is a major issue. So immediately following exercise, they are subjected to hypoglycemia if the excessive insulin intake is there or due to the action of other hormones like, uh, like uh, epinephrine. Unfortunately, the symptoms of hypoglycemia are masked by the symptoms happening during the sports activity. So the symptoms of hypoglycemia are trembling, an accelerated rate of sweating and the increased hunger. The symptoms of neuro neuroglycopenia occur when the blood glucose levels are very low, that is less than 2.5 millimoles per liter and they are acute confusion, disorientation and clumsiness. The symptoms of hyperglycemia are fatigue, dehydration and blood pressure and most often these symptoms are unnoticed. So based upon this, uh, none of the studies have been done in this field on type 1 diabetes mellitus whether uh, affecting their sports activity and circumstantial evidence indicate that increased blood glucose levels can be beneficial for the sports activity because increased blood glucose supplies the muscle, en the energy for the muscles. But so in order to, uh, in order to but in the case of type 1 diabetes mellitus, such studies are not conducted. So, we are planning to conduct the study and the hypothesis for the study is compared to the euglycemia, both hypo and the hyperglycemia can affect the sport performance in type 1 diabetes patients. So, based upon that, methodology, the children and adolescents aged 9 to 7 years are recruited from the sports camp. The exclusion criteria are another any serious chronic illness which can affect the sporting ability or any visual color blindness which, uh, which can be de detrimental in testing protocols or any developmental delay in understanding the testing protocol. So 27 youth in youth with type, with type 1 diabetes mellitus aged 9 to 17 years are selected from the camp. Of this, 24 individuals agreed to participate in this two testing and 17 agreed for the continuous blood glucose monitoring. The study was approved by the ethics committee and the data collection was done from 20th July to 24th July 2009 at the sports camp. This, the methodology is the sports skill assessment was done to the participants and they are brought to the assessment stations at random levels during the 5 days camp and they are assessed for each of the sport and the one person will be tested for one sport only and on average they are undergoing 6 plus 1 test during this week. So the blood glucose measurements were, was made using a standard blood glucose meter and based upon the levels they have been classified into hypoglycemia, accepted glycemic range and hyperglycemia. Hypoglycemia is less than 3.6 millimoles per liter and accepted range is between 3.7 and 13.8 and hyperglycemia is more than 13.9 millimoles per liter. And this, in, this blood glucose measurements were done immediately after the sport activity and they are subjected to a test called stroop test and this is commonly used to test to measure the selective attention, the cognitive ability and the psychological capacity of the individual and this test is affected by the attentional fatigue and the subjects are undergoing this test based upon the uh, principle that the participants are asked to recite the name of the color, the word is printed but not the word itself. For example, here the red is given in blue color, they have to actually identify the color of the word but not the word itself. This is called stroop test. Based upon this and even the continuous blood glucose monitoring was done to main, uh, to check out for the nocturnal hypoglycemia in all the individuals. So based upon this the results were mean sport skill performance was highest during the blood glucose level in the EU glycemic range and the individuals are able to perform to the best that is 79 percentage of their best. 
and compared with the acceptable, acceptable performance range, the sports skill performance was lower during the hypoglycemia than during hypoglycemia. 41 of the 45 nocturnal hypoglycemic levels showed less than 3.6 millimoles per liter, but this is due to the this is reported on the day after the sports activity. The reading ability, the color naming and the inference scores were lower during the hypoglycemia than during the new glycemia and the hyperglycemia. The discussion, this filtered field study conducted in a unique sports camp for the youth with diet and diabetes mellitus showed that ability to carry out the competitive sports activity is decreased during the hypoglycemia and this decrease is due to the decrease in the cognitive function. The hypoglycemia has been thought to involve the sports activity in the youth with diabetes mellitus. We found that reading and color cognition ability was more susceptible to impairment than the interference force. And the studies also relate that this, this the studies also in, in, in involved that the cognitive impairment was more doing more during the hyperglycemia, that is if the blood glucose levels is more than 20 nanomoles per liter. And our failure to observe the same effect is due to that our in the camp, our individuals had more uh, lower levels of blood glucose than the higher levels. So we fail to prove that. Whether the nocturnal hypoglycemia affects the uh, next day sports activity is remain, remains unclear and we are able to we are not able to prove that. Conclusion the hypoglycemia but not the hyperglycemia impairs the sports skill performance and the cognitive function in the youth. And in contrast, the prior exposure to hypoglycemia the night before the sport activity does not affect the sporting ability. And vigilance in blood glucose monitoring uh, limits during the sports activity should maximize the competitive capacity in the adolescents with type 1 diabetes mellitus. In addition, any obvious decrement in the sports activity, for example, any failed throws or the surf, is a warning sign for the hypoglycemia and such individuals should be subjected for glucose monitoring and adequate carbohydrates should be taken to maintain the hypoglycemia. Thank you. I am Saram Satin and Sola Ule. This is a New York, Toronto, Palkale Kalagatil, Hamilton Kurminagal, Sayya Patula. This is Sakari Noya Nibali, Sakari Alamu, our Avagali, Bleyati Teranayu, Opi Tulargal, Sakari Alamu, our Gali, Bleyati Teranay, Badi Indrada, Indri, I will Arikay Kurigirad. This is Sandari Patula, Umegal Enda Mendra, Sakari and Alamu. Pratatil, Adihamagi Irdalum, and the Purevagi Irdalum, Adu, our name Mulayati Tirane Badi Kiradu. Mukimaka, the Chakari Nalagu, Purevago Irdal, Mulay, the same party, the decision making capacity, Korekiradu. Idanal, our girl Mulayatil Nandraga, sail Padam Nibil, so in the Arike, in the Alverike, Yirvatinan, the Chakra Noyadigre. Umbudilan the Padine by the Ula Yelangir Koran Legalai, Yedaka, our Gulaku, Silla, Testicle is Aidu Largal, our Gul over Vulayati Yed Padavurgala Yirkirakal, our Gulaku, Munbe, our Vulayati Pati, Pai Chigal, Alika Padikin Rana. I in the Nal Camp over Nalu, Kurpita or Nabar Yedaka, they are test is Aidu Largal, our Gulaku. Bilayatir budi itu urat, cakar yang ada bu test sendu lalakar. Aduh matu mila amal. Ira bu budi itu cakar yang ada bayi sodi tu lalakar. Aum gelat itu orang test sendu lalakar. Aduh itu perlu untuk stroke test. Aduh lal, ur word kurite, ur warta ikurite. Aduh ur kadal ini liru. Ana anda warta ini ber ur niat ikuri. Anda niat ik kantariya teran teranai orang gel madhi pitu lalakar. Ida nadi pada ini parkum boleh. Inda test Cakrai nalar itu korai ni terukum mudah, badi tu lalu, mari tu lalu, aduh matu mila amal, awal awal kan cakrai nalar itu kamyah terukum mudah, sihir sihir agam beraya ada mudiya mila, awal kan sihir apa anak tiada ni kurikam mudiya mila, idan ni idan mula nama mari mari event hari pada enna event ral, cakrai nalar itu uru beraya di terima beraya di tiada ni uru mukjeh mana panggal panggali pay petrol lalu, idan mula cakrai noya ni kerakke. Kerana ini adalah 
சக்கரவை நோயாளிகளுக்கு ரத்தத்தில் சீரான சர்க்கரை அளவு இருக்க வேண்டும் அதன் மூலம் அவர்கள் விளையாட்டில் நன்றாக செயல்பட முடியும் அது மட்டும் இல்லாமல் விளையாட்டினால் ஏற்படக்கூடிய ஹைப்போகிளைசீமியா என்ப என்ற ரத்த சர்க்கரை அளவு குறைவு உடனுக்குடன் கண்டுபிடித்து அதற்கு வைத்தியம் செய்ய வேண்டும் இதன் மூலம் சர்க்கரை நோயாளிகளும் விளையாட்டில் சோபிக்க முடியும் இதன் இதன் போன்ற ஆய்வு ஆய்வை மேற்கொள்ள வேண்டும் என்றால் என்னை நீங்கள் தொடர்பு கொள்ளலாம் என் பெயர் டாக்டர் வசந்தி நான் உடல் இயங்கியல் துறையில் முதுகலை பட்டம் பயின்று வருகிறேன் மேற்கொண்டு இதன் போ இதன் போல ஆய்வு ஆய்வுகளை இந்த துறையில் செய்ய உங்களை அன்போடு அழைக்கின்றேன்